Yeah, it's getting one of the dish on the fish in this way. It's like storms get this thing off and then I split the river. Mm -hmm. All right. So it's been getting all the water from down south that flows into the other drop of lake. So I can do lake. They're you know, weird, but all the way down, and I think the men's to the right. I think women's left. Yeah. Oh. Hey, good timing, everyone. All the way. <laughs> I've seen him. Oh, I thought <laughs> 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 I put it yellow now. This is the monument of the paper. This is a All right, so I think we're good to restart. So All right, are we on page five? Yeah. Okay. I think we were talking about this and we were going to have um, some staff come in and talk about the rationale for these changes. You guys are up. The rationale for the uh, body gripping back changes. How are you under the bus? So originally we were discussed all body gripping traps off the ground. The bottom line with that is they are the most unforgiving traps that the crowd would use. They are specifically designed to kill the moving okay. Through some of the public comment period, there was a lot of discussion about using uh, one tens, the four and a half inch square. I think Paul brought some to show you all on the ground, which is where the 25 square inch come from. It allows that in there. So they're pretty small traps. Um, and it's no more complicated than that. The very bottom one is no body being traps over 60 square inches. In the regulation currently, if the trap is at least five feet off the ground, there is no restriction on the size of that trap. Okay. So somebody could use a 330, which generally, generally speaking, is 10 inches square. So if you think of a 10 inch square body dripping trap hanging about this high off the ground, there might be concerns. Has it ever happened that I know of? No, that's probably never, never happened that I know of. Um, and I, I would just add the, the um, Traps that are between 25 square inches and 60 square inches can be used on the ground, but they have to be in an anchored enclosure. 
uh, and and one most travelers would recognize that in the five that that twenty five square inches includes one tens and one twenties, which is just a change a difference in the number of springs. One ten has one, one twenties has two. What is what is the size of a one ten? Generally speaking, four and a half inches. And I just say it that way because you'll hear the terminology in 110, 120, 220, 160. Those are all generic ish terms because there is no industry standard. And if you look at them and you measure them, one company's 160, which is generally a six by six draft. One company might have one that's five to seven eighths, and another company that calls it 160 is six and an eighth. So if you go by square inches, it kind of encapsulates all of them. That way. And, and the only other thing I'll say is that we combined 4.6, 4.7, and 4.8 because there was a lot of redundancy between those. Um, and so we are hoping, besides the fact that there were some substantive changes in that body, we recommended that body grip retracts to certain sizes be off the ground. 4.6 is we feel is clearer. Then the three, four point six, four point seven, and four point eight. That was the attempt. If you could roll up a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Let's do a follow up question. Rounds and rounds. Yeah, a lot going on there. It's been modified. It's been modified a few times. When they say, Body grip of any size has to be in the clothes, the anchor of the clothes. That means that it can be set blind, blind set. Now, blind set is not what I've heard it described at times. It's not a set, not set, set blindly across the landscape. A blind set is set without the use of bait, lure, uh, a visual attractant, any attractant of any kind. It's based solely on the trapper's knowledge of that animal's habits and how it uh, how it uh, maneuvers through the landscape. They're extremely effective. They have a very high harvest selectivity, <clears throat> meaning it's it's because there's no bait or lure used. They uh, the chances of catching a domestic dog or even a non-target fur bear is, is quite is rare for those types of sets. Um, so, so the way that is worded, it's it's uh, over twenty. That would allow one tens on the ground. Uh, yep. Yeah. I got I got a title there to look yeah. at. One to look at, but I think. Uh, once up in that 25 square inch to 40 would allow a, a 160 also to be used. A 110 or 120, you're not, it's, a, it's a main muskrat trap. You're not going to catch anything else in this small. A 160 is a catch a coon or skunk. Though so in those. And be readily fast the blind set, still it shouldn't be allowed. But blind sets have been a foundation strategy for getting strapping started. They're very effective. Again, they're very high selectivity. If you can use a body grip in that situation as opposed to a foothold, body grip are more humane, more effective than a foothold. Right. Okay. Okay. I was going to ask a question. I'm not sure who directed to, but I was going to ask why are we limiting it to 25 inches? I have spoken with the tractor, the top tractor himself. I've had a spoken with you. They want it raised to 40 inches. Uh, raccoons, if there's a common point that we're talking about, they think that 25 inches is too small for raccoon. Uh, raccoons. Easily caught cornfield blind sacks with the big one six. I have a neighbor that is a farmer that has his corn devastated by raccoons here and there. And that is because 
if there's a reason for leaving, you know, limiting it to one by one, like you said, like, you know, there is, why it couldn't be from after the four years? I'm sure we'll be right next. Well, that could, yeah. To me, yeah. So, like, Sean, do you want to address that? Certainly, the board could do that, Brian. I mean, the, the bottom line is if you look at it from the standpoint of you've got a four and a half inch by four and a half inch trap versus a six inch by six inch trap, there are more things that can put parts of themselves through a six inch wide trap than a four and a half inch wide trap. It is no more complicated than that. Originally, the department's recommendation was to get all body traps off the ground unless it was in an enclosure that's five feet up or in the water. And through a lot of the public hearings we had, we heard from a lot of trappers, mink trappers in particular, talking specifically about um, what Paul was talking about, the blind sets about the four mink. So then it's okay, well, if you do 25 square inches, that allows the mink trappers. And now it's coming right back around, and, and everybody that wants to trap raccoons in cornfields is saying, "Well, if we could just have one sixties on the ground." So that's the best answer I can give. Brian, on that same note, I kind of had that same question. I was talking to him earlier about this. How, Paul, can you speak to how much more difficult is it to use an enclosed trap in said cornfield situation to trap? Because I have no idea. So, because apparently that's how you can get around this now. It's to use an enclosed trap. I'm assuming that's far more difficult. An, enclo an enclosure is, is going to be a bait set. Okay. So that, by definition, will be a blind set. Uh, and the, there's the trails, especially for me, but also coon. Um, there's trails that you, you, you can see where they're going. And you know, just to put a blind set is more effective and easier and it's more possible. It's in an enclosure, it's, it's going to be a baby set. Which can still be effective for driving raccoons? Yeah. It's just harder to do. Well, you got to bring in. Yeah. You know, yeah. They really shine for me, but there's no doubt about it. Blind sets shine for me because they're, they're the size of this, this is this can, they go through tiny holes and set small body grips. Multiple places and catch me blind set. What, and uh, if anybody can answer this question, what is the most trapped species in the world? Numbers wise? Yeah, I mean, what's the, the most uh, targeted, targeted species? Oh, Historically speaking, I would say beaver and muskrat, but it varies. Honestly, it varies year to year depending on the fur market. If you give me go on and I'll try to look it up and see if I can find it all before. And the reason I ask that is, is, is if this is going to complicate the ability to trap raccoons. What impact will that have on the coon population and, and the results of that? It is, I know it. Well, that's what made me think of uh, not using blind sets will really cripple an ATC tracker, particularly for coon and skunk. But I know the statement is not always laws apply to ATC trackers. At that time of day, so I don't know which that that would be We'll cover that. You really will. Yeah, we will. There's a provision at the end that talks about what it applies to in terms of people who are trapping for compensation. If you're the landowner uh, or the select board. None of the rules are applied are applicable to you by statute. So um, do we have any more discussion or questions about this section? Or any I, I have a question. Okay. Yeah, I have a quick question. Um, what um, how do the uh, BMPs relate to this section? 
Can we go ahead and do that again? There, there are BNP recommendations um, for different species on what types of, of body gripping traps were tested and passed. So if you want to know what body gripping traps pass for, say Fisher or or Bobcat, um, you you can find it in the BMPs. There's there was not a BMP recommendation about whether they should be off the ground or in an enclosure. That was not part of the BMPs. Okay. Uh, can I ask something, Brad? The, no, go ahead. The uh, all the literature I've read about taking body grips on the ground, the BNP literature, they talk a lot about three things: uh, putting body grips you know, four, five, six feet off the ground. You got that. You got that one. You got a five foot. Off the ground regulation in certain situations, and they also talk about uh, uh, restricted enclosures. That we got that now in place, which means that. Uh, can I show you some stuff? Or, uh, yeah, I think it will. While you're getting the stuff, Paul, I'll just say beaver and muskrat. Uh, So while he's doing that, just to follow up on my question. So at the very beginning of this, uh, Mark, you talked about increasing the safety and well-being of animals as being the primary push behind these revised uh, rules. And so just so that I'm clear, um, how do those two points, or how does that point, how is that point being addressed with this? Is it based on limiting the size of the animal the the size the 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 entry point into these body grip and traps is what we're doing that are that are set on the ground and by reducing the access point to these body grip and traps on the ground in theory we're reducing the amount of animals that can access that trap is is that what I is that anywhere near what we're trying to accomplish here. That, that's yes. right, Brad, and, and that goes to one of the one directive from 159, which was to develop methods to avoid non-target animals. But what if the target animal doesn't fit in the access point, the access to this body grip and trap? Well, we won't trap it. What was that? Well, if it can't fit, it won't get trapped. And so to the point earlier, what what animals are we moving away from trapping by doing this? Is it raccoons? I guess is what I heard you say earlier. Possibly well, one domestic animals. So so this this these yeah. changes are designed to minimize or reduce the the trapping of domestic animals? One reason is that's a problem of primary one. Speaking of that, here's a cage. Uh, you want to step forward so you can be in the screen, maybe? This is a typical cage used uh, for Fisher, Coon, Skunk. Uh, it has notches cut in. Side the trap fits inside here. As proposed, this will not be legal on the ground because it, we need a 12 foot, 12 inch, I'm sorry, trap recess. So, and the reason for like a dog in this particular, like the weasel family, they, they make a living going into small holes. Canines do not like to go in small enclosures. Uh, which includes domestic dogs, coyotes, fox. They will not, if, it's, if you've got a trap just recessed back here, 12 inches, that's, almost, that's the whole length of this, this cage itself. So you can imagine, then you'd have to extend this cage to set it on the ground. You're not home for your baby. 
So that that that's a dog. It means it's a real small dog. He's not going to he's not going to be able to get into that where that trap is located. So that's the primary reason for, for having a recessed a restricted entry uh, cage. This could be made, made out of wood. It could be uh, natural materials. Also, anything that's recessed 12 inches would be legal on the ground. If then there's, there's a size restriction to it, can't be over uh, 60 square uh, 60 square inches. And this is the 160. Which fits this type of uh, cage. And this is also the trap that I would like to see allowed as a blind set on the ground. This is a, a 110, which is about four and a half inches. You open up each, when you're set, you take a measure of X, Y on this, the, the, the inside of the jaws. So there's a difference, but And so, Paul, you're saying the smaller trap in your hands is effective at trap practice. Whereas the yeah, trap it would be, be very, yeah, correct. Okay. Right. So the, the smaller trap is, is your 25 square inch trap, and the other one is a 60 square inch trap. So, right. Okay. That for you the ones. The one in your right hand is the one safety. Yeah, which is, uh, which is on the 40. 40. That's correct. You're right. The next, the 220 would be under 60. And those, yeah, so these, yeah, <clears throat> this I think is a good compromise and it's going to be very effective for ADC trappers. And look, all trappers are ADC trappers. We're all, whether we trap in season or not, because it's only wildlife for bear populations, one of the primary, one of the certainly. Uh, and it's a very related trapping also. So uh, uh, it's also another trap. This is a 150 or 155, which is also I like to use this on the main. It's it's a little bit between the 110 and the, the 160. And that, that would also allow this trap to be utilized and keep up the uh, the size limit on the ground to blind set. These I, I feel are more effective on main actually than these the small ones. Um, any questions on that? So was this over the word over 25 square inches, which is now in front of setup? Um, you know, was what was this before? Is this, I guess, was this in this change, this version that we are now restricting us and previously we would not propose it? Um, it is it's a new change, it's a new change, yeah. yeah it's a, in response to the public comment, they're allowing now this trap that's that's that is that is written as this set lines <laughs> before there was no trap, so this is good. Allow bossing. This is going to be free. Up to one. You want to talk about changing on The coyote trap, we've got a chain link. This is the way it came. Box from the dealer is 13 inches long. If you have something shorter than that, this general here is at the ground level. Okay, the traps usually are very trap when you set it on top. When a coyote gets caught for any animal, it's gonna go in a circle. <clears throat> this swivels. Uh, if the chain is too short, 
they can get a pull. Pile's long leg, it can, it can easily pull vertically on this stage. So you want to have it at least 12, this is 13. There's no way it's that tall. It's only going to be pulled perpendicular on this stage. If you have it too long, they're going to get a running start. They're going to go. They're going to, and then the chance to maybe pull the stake that way, but more likely to injure their pot. If they're pulling and then it's a hard stop, they can, that's the fact that they could twist the, the, the pocket move within the jaws and they could actually pull out or injure the pot. And, and that's unacceptable. So there's a median there where there's, you don't want the trap told and you don't want to have a run an undue start. Okay, so yeah, okay. How many swivels are on that? That is the shortest. Well, depends how you. It comes, this is typical now of a modern day trap. It comes with two swivels, one at the base plate, one at the end, which is the uh, EMP approved, at least two. The better clarify what I was talking about. You can cut your chain and add swivels. It's not, it's not hard to do. Anytime you add any anything, you usually add swivels while you're doing it. Here's a typical swivel. It's got a J hook that you connect on both ends. And then you mm -hmm. crimp those down. Now they're and it swivels at both ends. So they call it now. This is two swivels. It's got two swivel points. So that's going to be considered two swivels. And it does swivel, but both both ends. So, okay. but I have at least two of these. So you got four swivel points and three. I, I trap away class would recommend three minimum. Also, but two does meet uh, the MP requirements. But so I guess this is called two because this in itself. I think it says one at the base. Yeah, and, yeah. and two weapons. Yeah. There is one at the base. And uh there's mm -hmm. on me. But one more that's swivel that both ends would count then is three of the points, right? But again, I add usually have three. Three of these right, that swivel up at two two points. So these cages, they, 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 they will have to be modified to be set on the ground of, uh, with a new 12, 12 inch recess. <clears throat> but these, these will still be okay up a tree, five feet off the ground. Thank you, Paul. Thank you. I have one comment from this. Um, the proposal is to eliminate the problem. That I don't see it as a problem. And if I say that based on a five year period, trapping rate for domestic animals is 1.44 thousand trapping nights with less than one fatal per year. One trapper indicated that uh, each trap cats and his own posted properties, which would, would be included in those numbers. So it seems like it's almost the numbers almost non existent. So I guess I. At this point, I don't see Marion changing this. I agree with you, Bob. I also wrote down from Kim's presentation that no domestic animals are trapped 99.95% of the time. So um, I understand the reasons behind why we're looking at this. It's very, this is a very controversial topic, but the data set does not indicate that this is a huge problem. Um, raccoons destroying farm cornfields. Um, we care about farms here in Vermont as well. Um, there's consideration. And I, and I think uh, to, to add to that, with the offset, if we choose to stay with the 50 foot limit from trails and roads, 
that we've defined in public public ways. You know, there's going to be some some uh, responsibility of pet owners to you know be mindful of where your 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 pets are. I understand. Uh, you know, we've heard a couple of times the, the instance of the, the, the dog that was killed and, and you know, I have dogs and, and certainly devastated by that, but we had laws in place against that set that weren't followed and that was nobody's fault but the, the person that was really doing that activity. But there's going to be some more on, on people with their pets out walking in public areas, uh, especially while like management units or onto somebody's private property. Uh, you know, we've heard all of the when we get to the coyote pounding or the dogs hunting with coyotes. Um, you know, people are concerned about you know the dogs coming onto their property, and and that same concern travels over to trackers is they don't want your pets walking on their property because they they don't want to be burdened with having to worry about your pet getting caught in a trap. So I think that. Um, we're, 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 I, I think a little bit that we're overburdening the trapping with with all this that may not be a big an issue. Trying to prevent an issue, I understand that, but I don't think it's. I think we're preventing it in other ways with uh, some other language in here that we're we're talking about. And, and so to summarize, it sounds like four point five a. Uh, We've had a lot of questions about clarifying swivels. Um, is it fair of us to ask that uh, that be reconsidered for the next version and perhaps for looking at the wording? And then 4.6, um, it sounds like you would like the, not quite sure how to paraphrase the comments in the past few minutes, but. And we'll be able to, at the board, make those suggestions and, and vote right. on that. Right, exactly. You'll be making those decisions. Yeah, these are suggestions. These are You're suggestions for decision. Okay. These are suggestions from the department to the board. Yep. We can do as we want with them and then decide what we need to do. So I'm just looking at how we can progress here. So we, we yeah. I'm just trying to identify the sections that we need um, or we I don't know if we'll use the vote individually or yeah, because we're gonna still go through, we get through all the questions. All the changes, and then go back through again and, and make our changes. That's the board's changes. So, why don't we move on to um, the next section where there's been a change, which is 4.13? Unless you want to talk about meat based bait, because I think we've already sort of. The 4.7 does run meat based. On the ground. Yeah. Yep. So 4.13 is the next section that um, involves a change. Um, we added explosive. The board had already um, approved the addition of explosives under 4.14. Um, I think we just changed it to 413 um, because there were some questions about um, the final section, and that will become clear when I uh, go through that. But um, I don't think that's a, a significant change. Um, we did add clarifying language at the end of 14 to make it clear that um, you know mechanical devices doesn't necessarily, doesn't apply to a legal trap set that's set in accordance to the rules. And the reason why we did that is because if you look back at the definitions, the existing definitions of a trap talks about a mechanical device. So it's just a clear, it's just clarifying the age. Um, the primary change here is in 4.15, which um, where we combined the setbacks in part for simplicity. Um, it seemed like it would make more sense to combine both the foothold traps and the body gripping traps and have one setback. Um, it still exempts wildlife management areas. 
Um, and but it but we did suggest um, eliminating step the step in a culvert and just saying in the water. Um, and we also added a section that made it clear that the setbacks do not apply to um, private landowners that are trapping on their own property. And that was in part, um, there were some you know, comments that we got along those lines, like, why can't I trap on my own property um, if trails running through it, that type of thing. So that was that one. Sure, if you have questions. Yeah. Yeah. So I think originally the setback was 25 because we're trying to make it easy for everyone to understand regulations. And so 25 feet aligns with any other, uh, I guess, shooting. Um, well, actually, originally it was 25 feet for body, for, for um, sorry, for foothold traps and 50 feet for body clipping traps. Yes. So those two were, were in their own separate sections. What we did is combine them and increased all of them to 50. Why? Um, because the, in part because the statutory directive is very broad and it applies, it says it applies to all places where people recreate. Um, I think that, you know, we have met the statutory intent in the sense that I don't know that the legislature necessarily was aware of kind of the permission requirements related to private properties, but um, we really wanted, you know, 25 feet is not very far. And we really wanted to provide a, a level of protection or setback for the public. Will this set a precedent for changing the shooting from a road or have to be 25 feet? Yeah. 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 I, I like that's statutory provision. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I personally like the the retreat step back to sit for fifty feet. That's only sixteen plus yards and twenty five feet. Not many yards and very far. I like it with with the provision of a private landowner trapping on their own property. Yeah, yeah. that's a. That's that was a concern, but with this language, okay. Private landowner can trap my own land without the 25 foot restriction. Correct. <clears throat> I still want to trap when I have permission to trap on this property. On this public property. I have to abide by the 25 foot restriction. Yes, you do. Yes. For the land uh, just apply to the landowner who's trapping on their own property. That's the way it's written. Things a little bit because of a lot of that goes on. I'm sure people backtrack on other people by the time. Seems But also remember that it only applies to those trails and roads. That are mapped. They're on the VTrans maps or are mapped by a, an agency, a state agency like Forest Parks and Recreation. And it does not apply to government. So, not going to try apply to every single. And I don't know, Paul will probably answer this, probably track was really truck within. That distance of a travel area, anyway, um, unless it's in the long term. Right. I, 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 I only said that for the film. They most would not have, but I can speak for everybody. Um, I don't think I said within 50 foot of the trail. Okay. 
And then uh, the board also approved the dispatch of craft animals um, language, um, which is cross stuff that required treatment. It seemed like it didn't necessarily add anything. Um, so just to clarify, any unharmed captured animal or domestic pet. Anyone else like lights on? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Any reason why we shouldn't include injection? Or the dispatch? It just seems like it would make sense in the city as well as some things that were missing crap and got further down that skunk spray and make more sense. I'm looking at the information from the American Veterans Medical Association, they accept that as well. I think the amount of substances that you put an animal down are controlled substances. You wouldn't be able to get a hold of them. You have to have a licensed veterinarian to do it. I'm not sure what would be used that would be legal. But I'll get carbon Carbon monoxide from the injection. Or the no, it's right. It's inhalation, right? I've heard There's of several other things at this point. I've heard of several I've heard of inhalation injection. Oh, yeah. People who are trapping defense property, or uh, or mostly just so that they're out there in the field. Yeah, a lot of things. Mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. they don't, not spray. Mm -hmm. Also, some of these means this way there are not legal in some areas of the state. Some communities in Wellington, for instance, that are, may not allow use of all the right to go down for anything. Yeah, I do, I do know of one um, person who contacts the police department for permission to use a gun he's doing crafting and defense and they allow him to, mm -hmm. to dispatch the animal but it, it can be a problem um we we're going to make rules we should i know that there's a lot of crafting done in development and we're going to get to that. That's the very last section. Right. Okay. <laughs> we can talk about that. Well, that's not. Yeah. yeah. I think we do we do need to address. I think that's pretty limiting right now. Was well, a question on one of those public hearings about John? Somebody said, "Well, that includes a handgun." Yeah. Well, any gun. But it also includes pellet, pellet gun, right? Be able to use that as pellet gun to dispatch. The gun, the gun, the gun. It's going to be a pellet gun. And they, and that's voiceless, so that's the advantage of all the rolls for a pellet gun. Yeah, so, um, if we can page down to for 18, there were no changes to the um, muskrat and beaver section. Um, although you did approve the end of the beaver section, um, just some clarifying language that crap shall not be set within 10 feet of the nearest point above water of the beaver house or dam during the month of March. And that was because of the overlap um, in trapping seasons. Um, and the, and all. Uh, so under 4.18, um, the trapping regulations that we've discussed above, um, and Kim, if you can correct me if I'm sorry, <laughs> did I surprise you? <laughs> you can correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that um, the some of the provisions that are um, set forth above are already already sort of take care of this. Um, so 
this might be something that we need to revisit if we change section 4.5 and 4.6. That that's that's true right now. If we change some things, yeah. Revisit okay. that, but right now the language that's been recommended would cover that. Okay. Um, we also had added under C that any person who takes um, a path otter or fisher can, um, you know, keep the edible meat um, because some people don't. Critters, but that apparently is a good bit. Um, so under raccoons, Moving right along, um, there's a very minor change related to um, dogs or dog. We got to curl up. Oops. Um, no, up to 419B. <laughs> uh, very minor change. Um, and then we get into um, taking coyote with the aid of dogs. And we really made no changes to this section. Um, the first, you know, the board approved pretty much all of the language that um, is here. You know, there's an authority section, a purpose section. And then if you move to page seven, um, there's a section that talks about um, licenses and permits. Um, the statute requires that folks get a permit from the commissioner, and so this section kind of lays out the process for that. Um, uh, we will have an application that people can apply for, and um, you know, we we um, we will also. Um, there's also provisions that the person, you know, hunting coyote must have a valid coyote dog permit. If you go down to section subsection five of licenses and permits, um, and you have to have a valid hunting license and use only department registered dogs. And then there's also a statutory provision which we, which says that only 10% of coyote hunters um, can be issued. I mean, coyote, hunt, coyote dog permits can be issued to out-of-state residents, which is consistent with the um, bear rule as well. And then there's a provision about lottery in the event that there's more than 100 permit applications, um, and there was a, a request that um, not more that, that not more than 10% of the permits be issued either to Vermont residents who were um, veterans who haven't been received a dishonorable discharge or to um, Native American tribes that are recognized by the state. And there's a statutory provision in there. That language has been changed to track what the statutory language does um, in other lottery situations, like the most lottery. So we just conform the how we do business with those lotteries. And if you move on to the next page, um, there's a section about legal methods, um, muzzle loader gun, bow and arrow. Um, and the a requirement that um, you know the person taking coyote to their um, permit license to um, a warden in the case of, that they have an archery or bow and arrow. Um, and then under dogs and cats. Um, the, there's a prohibition against um, 
relaying. There's also a requirement that the person has to be in control of their dogs. There's definitions around what control of your dog means. Um, and you've got to have a um, GPS unit. You can't have an unregistered dog. Um, you have to um, only take uh, with the pack of dogs, four dogs as defined in the rule. And you can hunt um, two or more permanent owners can hunt together as long as they don't have combined pack of more than four. I'm sorry, I cannot hear. What happened to the sound? David, can you hear me? I can. Okay. Um, the question was why why four instead of six? And you know, I, I can I can ask um staff to jump in, but I think part of it is that you know bears can climb trees. Um, you know, they're they're a little bit more versatile in that respect. And so there was a feeling that a fewer dogs might be appropriate for coyote. So it was also the uh, result of a, our working group. We did a stakeholder survey and we asked a very broad group of constituents what they thought for dogs, and it ranged from one to six. And the average was four. And that is basically a compromise. Can I ask a question, Mr. Chairman? Go ahead. Um, the, uh, the the language in front of us sets out a training season and a um, a uh, hunting season, uh, which on paper sounds fine. But during our earlier discussions about uh, dogs and hunting with dogs, it was pretty clear, at least in my mind, that there is absolutely no control over dogs once they're on the run that we have buzz collars and GPS tracking and whatever, uh, but dog gets half three quarters of a mile down the road and kills a coyote during training season. Is that a violation? Is that a taking violation? Is that a major violation under fish and wildlife law? That is a taking violation, yes. Did you hear the answer? I heard the answer. Um, I think that there is, um, uh, from several perspectives, a problem relative to control of dogs um, and relative to um, uh, hunting and uh, taking uh, coyotes. Um, and uh, I have, I'm, I'm not in a position uh, to offer any kind of uh, suggestion at this point, uh, but I, I, I think there's reason to um, uh, uh, think on this further. So with, with that, I'm done. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. So what would you suggest? Well, my earlier suggestion when we dealt with this uh, back uh, this uh, past winter, I guess it was, um, was to uh, bring in some people and, and uh, to who could help the board understand what it really means to control a hunting dog or a dog of any kind, um, and and it it. Um, we actually never invested the time in that that I am aware of. I know I missed some time uh, at board meetings, but I don't believe I missed uh, a major presentation about control of dogs. Yeah, um, we, and I think answer. that we, in fact, should probably revisit that question. Yeah, absolutely did have a presentation by two people. It was about an hour long. And you were there. 
Uh, well, I, I I may have been there, but I have not heard. Let me see. I have not heard a presentation about control of a dog. Mm -hmm. and, and in terms of the collars and the communication and tracking them, um, that's all well and good. That is not control of a dog that's on the scent. I guess I'd offer. Uh, these are all good questions. I guess my takeaway from the presentation that was given um, by the two gentlemen who brought uh, the dog collars in and demonstrated the technology, and also in reading extended public comment on this, the word control of dogs is subjective. No one, we can all point to the various studies that have been done that lean one way or the other. It's very difficult to define this. And so I guess what I look at with what we're vetting here is that the regulate the proposed rules here are a major improvement beyond what we've had in the past. If my understanding was almost we didn't define, we didn't require GPS devices on dogs at all. So the fact that we are now adding a lot of language and rules and framework around the types of dog, the dogs that can be used for acquiring permits and requiring that they have GPS tracking devices with plot and line so that we can look at where those dogs have been. It's a major improvement and still allows this practice. A lot of it's being done, my understanding, talking to travelers, which I did have a public commentary meeting. Um, a lot of this is being done for farms that have coyotes attacking uh, livestock. Dave, I don't know if that helps at all or not, but just sort of adding what my perspective was um, on the same topic. You get all that, David? Okay. Brent has But before he does, I'm going to pull the actual statute up. I have something to do with it. Read it to the board. Because the requirement, as a, and I'm going to paraphrase, so that's why I'm going to quote it, is the control of the dogs is to minimize. Not eliminate. So I, I want that language read back to the board so you have the context of why we're looking at this. So we can go forward, but somebody said, How many comments? Take those collars, the GPS track and train collars. You're, you can set boundaries, for instance, highway, okay, highway. You don't want your dog going down the paved highway to the way you restrict them from getting there and coming and then come back. I think you can also do it with property lines, boundary lines, posted property. But I'm not 100% on that. I'd have to, I'd have to check on that. Brad, you have a question? Uh, yes, I do. This, this, my question is around training. Um, I think this is the right time to ask it. It's to, if we're going to have training prior to the season, and the training is critical to getting your dogs in shape and getting them trained um, to to be under your control, to work being under control, and to teach them how to hunt, then how do we? I guess my question is, how do we go from a timing perspective right into the season this year? without having a training session and 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 would there be any um limitations on you know allowing um i'll use the term rookie dogs if you will i know it's not the right term but dogs that are hunting for the first time to actually hunt this season or or what what there seems to be some challenges because we're really starting the clock ticking this year but we haven't had a training season prior to the actual season starting so i'm just wondering if there's any been any thought given to that uh, at all? No. So, okay. Section three, Fish and Wildlife Board rules. This is the statute. Pursuing high up for the age of dogs. Um, 
Fish and Wildlife Board shall adopt the rule regarding the pursuit of coyotes, the aid of dogs, either for the training of dogs or for the safety of the coyotes. The rule shall include at least the following provision. I'm skipping down. A definition of control to minimize the likelihood that dogs pursuing coyotes enter onto land that is posted against hunting onto land for pursuit of coyotes and dogs. That's the charge. For what that's for. <clears throat> So oh, yeah. the requirements that are uh, we're addressing that acts by including by requiring the use of GPS followers on dogs. Sorry. Just to address Brad's question, um, think about it like the running back holding out more more money, um, and they sit out part of the season, but then it takes them a few weeks to get. In playing shape, and that's probably what they have to do this year, is to just kind of take their time and, and get them in the um, get them in the shape. Yeah, so, so I'm going to do this later, but since we're on this topic, and I think it kind of applies here, when I look at 3.1 subsection B, uh, subcommittee was anyway involved in using handling and taking care of with the aid of dogs, so we have a direct Control supervision of a dog, type of dog, permit holder, including the ability to see and communicate each other without the aid of artificial devices such as radio and binoculars. I don't see, I see that as a detriment. If you are running dogs and the dogs are, are I don't see why a group of four guys or, or some per meters or however got all held together and traveled together. Point it, there might be some benefit to having a guy on the road down the road that you can communicate with your phone or your radio or whatever. If the dogs are coming his way and they're not stopping, you don't want them to grab them before they cross the road or something. I, I think that kind of takes away some of their ability to control the dogs. I absolutely agree, and I feel they should be able to have radio or phone or any other means of communicating them. To help avoid conflicts with landowners, you know, private landowners or people that don't want hunt. Yeah, and I feel that they should be able to have communication. Here, here. Is, is, there, is there any reason why that language was put in there that somebody can explain different for a for, for lot of reasons? That I one of my one of my questions. Uh, Thank you. First point one B. Without the aid of artificial devices. I think it was because of the uh, air chase, maybe, uh, concept, but I agree with all of what you said. Again, I, I think it's also which is the, bear, the, bear, the bear rule, which is what this rule is based on. but. And I agree, but we don't have, change it, but we don't it, have a lot of people complaining yeah. about counts chasing bears through the air, but we've got a lot of complaints about counts chasing the coyotes. And I think that, pardon me? I think we make complaints about Yeah. Well, maybe we should relax the bear rule. For, for, what, for this purpose, I think that for what we're dealing with right now, I think that that clause is um, unnecessary. And, de and actually detrimental to their ability to control. And to avoid conflict with the end of the one-on-one conflict. And very, without a doubt, they're, they're going to be separated. One guy goes to that dog, he's over here, one guy goes over here. And they can communicate with radio, the cell phone or something legally, I think that was. I'm asking the question, I'm not sure who would address it though, but is there a reason why we wouldn't want this to happen? So, Mr. Chairman, uh, again, just because I'm having difficulty hearing, what section are we addressing right now? In a way, we're uh, section 3.1B, so first page, talking about the use of radios and other technology to communicate. And 
or it has to do with control in a way. Going back to your question or comment. Go ahead. So, I mean, I think Catherine's comment was we really, if we're just extracting the variable um, and adapting it to it, which is what we did on. And I wasn't here when we did the variable. But we can. I mean, I'm not saying that. I'm asking the question. Yeah, no. I mean, I'm with you. I'm just pulling them. I just like you think that maybe it had something to do with that being line of sight and that somehow that suggested um, more attention. Based in part on the idea that um, the permittee is responsible for the hunt, and so there was some desire. Yeah, but you know, I I would ask, you know, maybe, maybe um, law enforcement needs to kind of think on that a little bit. But perhaps we can just come back a little bit later in the meeting and just talk about that if we get through some of the other things. So, um, if we could go back down to page eight, four point twenty point four. I think we have talked about the training season and the kind of dog season. Um, and then there's all this is language that the board already voted on and approved. There's also a provision for legal hours to take during um, the day, half hour before sunrise to half hour after the sunset. Um, and then um, there are a number of prohibitions applicable to taking coyote with the aid of dogs. Here again, these are very consistent with the um, bear language. Um, you know, not wanting people to offer a hunt to people as kind of a, um, you know, somebody getting paid to take a bunch of people out to go buy a hunting. Um, I'm sorry, if you went right by that. Or you can train season. Yeah. I had to finish with that and I wanted to. Okay. To bring everybody's attention. The way I read that, is a non resident may train dogs to pursue clearly only while the training is from state <clears throat> and subject to the requirement of these rules. Well, not everybody's every non resident state has a training system. In fact, I'd say a number of people are going to come to Vermont because we will have a regulated type of. Hunt with hounds of dogs, right? Um, and we've just eliminated the possibility from everybody, say, from Massachusetts, who does not allow this or training of dogs for that to hunt our state. I think it's kind of dumb. But a lot of us are terrible, and we're going 10 out of state films. Yeah, but still. So you just by franchising 10 people. I mean, I'm going to be frank with you. I think many of these are an exercise in finding solutions to problems that don't exist. But this one really kind of works me. We're, we're saying we don't want anybody from that state to come. I don't know about you, but a lot of people I know that business is a white people. Just wanted to bring that up. So. The bulk of this came directly, word for word, out of the bare rule that this board passed. Yep. So, when you're questioning it, I understand all of your questions, but know that it wasn't just dreamed up out of nowhere. It's coming from the existing rule that the board passed. I totally understand that, but I just wanted to make that point that was brought to me by some out of state. 
I brought the same point up last year because it just baffled me with my sovereign. It doesn't make any sense. And if we can change other things, we can change this. It's in the statute. It is. Is it? <clears throat> and the other point that I would like to make that specifically was brought to the board and the department by the Vermont Fairhounds Association. That was something that they wanted. They didn't want a bunch of non-residents coming in to train in the Vermont training season. I can understand that point too, but it doesn't go like right that. <laughs> it's in statute, you can't touch it. All right, moving along. <laughs> Uh, we started talking about the prohibition. Uh, do people have questions about um, this section? It, it does require reporting. This is a violation for a Vermont resident to apply for a permit for an investigator. No unregistered dogs. Pretty simple. Right. Um, under 4.21, there's a um, provision for arrowhead size for bow and arrow and crossbow. That's Standard language. That's consistent with the deer, right? Yes. Standard language for yeah. bear, deer, frog. Um, issues. And then under links, um, there, the links section was put in place um, to be applicable to wildlife management unit E, um, because that was the only place where um, links was known to exist uh, in the past. And um, so it was only effective for 10 years. Um, we crossed off the effective section because it's, uh, you know, it's kind of, no, it doesn't really make any sense in this, um, in this rule anymore. And then um, under B1, we crossed off that section because the other sections in 4.5 are more restrictive than that. Um, and so that's one where we may want to just revisit it and just check to make sure that it's consistent because this was a US Fish and Wildlife Service um, sort of requirement that we sort of we cooperatively um, engaged in because of the status of links as a endangered species. That there were special requirements to ensure that links would not be attracted. So, if we can move on through that section, there's another section under three, which is sort of the same, if that's the same issue, um, having to do with body gripping traps. The provisions in 4.6 are. Um, just as restrictive, if not more restrictive. And so there's no need actually to have that section. And we would also um, suggest um, deleting diagram three, which is kind of a informational diagram to give people information about how to, how to set the trap. And if you move down to diagram three, you see what it is. On page 13, actually. Oops. Under cubby set. Yeah, that one. Don't need it if the board passes. Yeah, so. And then there were really no other changes that the board um, considered until page 15 under Coyote, where we changed the seasons to match the um, taking Coyote with native dogs. 
language in the new rule in the proposed section of the higher rule. And then finally, under 6.0. This is the section that is applicable to people who are trapping rabbits and other and fur bears in defensive property for a fee. Um, under by statute, under 40, 10 BSA 4828, um, landowners and you know to some extent their agents and um, oh um, electors are exempt from trapping requirements. And what this does, this was a, a statutory directive from 2017 and 2018, um, where we were directed to apply some of these regulations to um, people who are trapping for compensation, which is defined as taking money, not necessarily bartering. Um, and this section basically sets out what is applicable to um, those folks. So that includes four point one and four point two, which are you got to visit and check your traps, right? Um, if it's on land, it's daily. If it's underwater, it's every three days. Um, 4.3 and 4.5, you have to label your traps. If it's under ice, the label has to be visible. 4.5 are the foothold trap BMPs. And that one, you know, depending on what the board decides, we may want to just eliminate this provision because I think it should just read 4.5. Um, 4.6, that's the body ripping um, trap restrictions. Um, 4.7 is meat-based bait must be covered. 4.10 is the provision that you can't possess a live fur bear except to move that fur bear for dispatch. And um, that language may need to be clarified. No, that language is fine. Um, 4.12 is you can't possess the skin or fur of a fur bear unless it's legally taken. Um, you can take fur bears and defensive property, so. Um, and 4.13, you cannot take a uh, fur bear with poison unless already trapped. That's one that might need to be um, clarified because there's explosive mentioned in that section. So just flagging it for you. And then um, 4.13. 18 is the provision that bobcat, otter, and fisher skins must be tagged and carcasses must be turned into the department. Um, 4.22 is the lynx section. And because lynx are a threatened and endangered species, um, there is a statutory requirement that any taking of a lynx be immediately um, reported. And so that section would be applicable. And then um, 4.23 is the requirement to issue trapping reports to the um, fill up for trapping reports and, and send them to the department um, because we collect that information and it's something that we track from year to year. That's that section. And with that, I kind of walked through it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Uh, 
So how do we so this couple up to the can you suggest? There are some technical corrections, which I don't think it's disturbing. They're not a lot of discussion. I mean, everybody agrees. You can just vote on those as a package right now and then go through this, look at all the changes that were recommended. And act on the some of the pain and substance. You can either leave it alone, so you're not even going to even modify it or whatever. Out, and then vote on the passage of the And that's what I would recommend. I would definitely take care of the technical information. You know what I mean? I'm talking about you know, just how to do a good example would be under 3.1, where it says with the yeah. eight of dogs and yeah. the pounds so, of. And the heads are there. there. Um, but we'll still go through it. And we'll say, oh, you you could right. say that for last, just to, so that it would be everything else you approve. Um, if you, I mean, I, I think what you might want to do is focus on foothold traps, then focus on body ripping traps, then focus on um, trapping setbacks. So, oh, can yeah. I make a first mention? Sure. So we just go through section for section. Yeah. Section, yeah. 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 Okay. Section, two. section three. Yeah. Just yeah. Rather than bounce around. Okay. okay. The first section. Housekeeping uh, 3.1 things you from house to eight of dogs. And we don't have to vote on each single section. We're just noting it and voting it in one package. If you're talking about technical, we want to aggregate them. Yes, which you may find that some of these you're going to want to vote. Not the, not the technical. It could get a little messy if you're making changes. To certain sections. Yes. Maybe you need to go through first and literally identify the number and letter of where we have questions and just literally apply and change. That's what I was hoping for. Let's do yeah. that first. Okay. Because then we can improve everything else. Mm -hmm. right? sure. Yeah. So, so, the, so the first one, four point, starting at 4.5. Is that right? Uh, uh, I'm looking three, at 3.1. So I'm proposing a 3.1 B be amended or changed to read a subcommittee who is in any way involved in use or handling of taking coyotes with the aid of dog shall be under the direct control and supervision of the coyote dog permit holder period. period. And strike the remainder of that clause that states, including the ability to see and communicate with each other. Without the aid of artificial devices such as radios or binoculars, except for medically necessary devices such as hearing aids or iPods, I think that is detrimental to our COVID. We could yeah. motion that now. Yeah, All right, make that change that motion. That is a motion. All right, we have a second. A second. Okay. Which which section is it again, please? Three point one B. Page one, first page. Page one. Striking anything from include from the word including through eyeglasses. All right. Any discussion? I'm <laughs> like. To get the opinion of the commissioner for the background on next before we go on. Thank you, I appreciate that. I think the only question I would have, and I would ask the ward, um, is there any concern about safety and not knowing where the other hunter is? That's how we operate now. Yep, I just want to put that on the table. They're communicating with each other, you know. Or I mean, 
I suspect it was originally put in there to keep people from relaying hunters and make it harder for the hunters to follow the bears. So you don't radio and said, hey, my dogs are coming to my grunt and my I keep on going. But the whole point of this is supposed to be to keep dogs from running. I have a sort of people as yards, and it seems to come to I don't think that the same to the I'd like to do it. Yeah, I think we should. Any further discussion? All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Some black bears. Opposed? <laughs> David Dean. Ice Habit. I'm sorry, my name just cropped up in the uh, scroll. <laughs> what did I do? Somebody tracked it. What? What was the next section? Did we go all the way to four point five? Four point five, yeah. Yes. What was the most? What follows in the rest? Yes. What's up? There was a are you still alive? It's a it again. If there were any of those, no. I'm sorry. Okay, four point five. Four point. Four point. Four point five. Is this often brought up in discussion on whether we? Uh, to revise the language around the number of swivels, and I, I honestly don't know exactly where we're going. I don't think we have to revise the language. I think we got clarification of what swivel is. So, uh, I think it's the features. I do have a question that may just be something. I mean, a housekeeping book. Um, with a free moving chain. And at least one, I excuse me, at least two additional swivels. Yeah. Am I, if I understood it all right, you said that every track comes with one swivel on it? Oh, no, no, at the no, base? No, no. Most modern traps today do come with a couple of swivels, but no, I can't say all of them. So the way this is written, additional meaning, it, it, it's a bind because there's already one swivel there. Well, it says the very first step a base plate that features a center chain mount with swivel and at least two additions. I think it's okay. Yeah, no. Center chain mount with swivel and at least two additions. Thanks, So the yellow indicates an additional language from what you've already passed. Correct. So you would need to make a motion to include that. I, do we want to? Oh, I see. The word one to move through this in yellow highlight. Yeah. Go for that. Okay. Yeah. Let's do an entire one motion for the entire 4.5 section. So we're on the 4.5 B now. Okay. Yes. Okay. I don't think we have any controversy over 4.5 B. Uh, yeah. 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 Well, I, I kind of if Brian's talking to that flaw. I, I, I guess I kind of agree with him to the point that if most trappers don't use short chains anyway, because it's not how it's normally done, and don't want to restrict them, they're, most of them are using it. Ten, let's say a 10 inch change. I mean, why, why is the number 12? Why is it 10 inch? Why is it 8 inch? We don't know. So, I, I'd rather than restricting them, I think by their own practice, they don't do that anyway. So, the decision is do we want to guess what their practice is and use 12? Do we want to use 10? Do we want to just leave it open? Um, 
And what is taught in the uh, hunter tracker safety course? How long the chain? Well, I just demos is what I teach. I, re I recommend the max in the middle. Every, again, there's no regulations right now for that. So there's objectives depending on the instructor, but most, but it, there were several travelers who commented they felt the total was minimum this way it should be. Yeah, well, what, what if you would all tell me that's but that's my understanding. The reason was a known for the last. The reason for that is if you're trapping a coyote and you've got a chain shorter than 12 inches, the coyotes have long legs and they're able to pull straight up on their anchor poles. Potentially getting it out of the ground and running off the train with the chain and a track, which nobody wants. I can put in the best objective. That's what we've heard from federal people. And it was told us that there's no scientific basis for that. And no scientific basis of going beyond our, our goal of fighting, setting them. I think it goes the right direction. So it's better than that. So that's what the majority of traffic would like for this. In biology is wonderful, but when you have trappers that are in the field and they're experiencing that this is what he made for the animals, then maybe we should do that. In it might want to be those trappers are already doing that, all you're already doing that. Why do you need to regulate? Well, not everybody, not everybody doing it, but it's any law, right? I just hate to come up with solutions to problems that don't exist. If the drivers have to do the use of change, then they're pulling the things and the payouts are running out and the tax attached to them. That's one thing. But trying to make everything perfect is a perfect flow, I think. Our goal is to try to make sure that doesn't happen. We don't want that. No, so. But you're not going to do anything. trying to do the Trying to minimize that state being a hole and minimize the, the, the max is to minimize the more discomfort for that off. Oh, they get a lunging start, so there's a reasoning for a max. I feel there's reason for a man too, but I'm gonna we'll see where this goes. I'm gonna make a motion that we put a minimum of fall with shame like on it. I'll second. And I think we have to do it that way, Mr. Chairman, because we're making a change that's beyond what we're recommending. I know what you're yeah. saying. Yeah. So, can I just ask a question? Sure. Yes. Adding 12 inches, are you leaving the rest of that section as written? Yes. Minimum of 12 inches, maximum weight. In. But have all the other weight is in yellow. Yes. You do. You do. You do. But we're going to come back and vote on the four point five six. That's our proposed position. Right? Yes, but there is an open. So, any other discussions? Adding a minimum of twelve inches. Section four point five B. Major goal. All right. Um, yeah, I, I just uh, want to make it known that I'm going to vote against that. This is a recommendation from the department after having uh, distilled an awful lot of information, and I'm inclined to go with their recommendation, so I will be voting no. All right. Thank you for your vote. You can send it. All of in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? No. 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 Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Nick, Mike, Brian, David. Thank 
Okay. Uh, anything in section 4.5C? Um, just talk about adding the push trigger along with the pull, but did, I mean, like, did we say that we were going to have that or? I think that's a good idea because many of those drafts have push and pull option. But the girl is in it, those that are in operation now, as it's a key proximity to be done. And then we also, you, you also pointed out that it's extremely dogs and cats really don't, are not, we don't have any evidence of them putting a paw into the stop trap, correct? Extremely rare, right? right. I mean, you know, we can even pause for half, but no. So would it be sufficient to say, just strike the word pull? So that it's just have a trigger in general? Only that's all this report and has a trigger. I thought it just say that can have a full trigger period after put. I think that's what it was stated before the original state. What was added was have a full trigger, yeah. Yeah. So period after the word report the put. Yes. So I see. All right, do we have a motion? I'll motion the 4.5 C uh, wording be revised to be padded offset laminated or have a minimum jaw thickness of 5 sixteenths of an inch or fully encapsulated the Second. Okay. 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 Did everyone online hear that motion? Yes. All right, any discussion? Uh, is there a push trigger? Yeah. Yes. So this wording is allowing both. Correct. Correct. Thank you. For both. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, so we should cover F, which the department suggests we will move drags. Is not being tested, right? I'll go along with that if I go for oh, I, I can give up for X because of that for a reason. Well, it has not been being investigated, but I don't like, you know, that has changed in the future with the years of that. I don't know if it's a motion. No, there needs to be a motion. Because you passed that at the last board meeting. Yeah. It changed yeah. this to start. I would make a motion that we strike a letter. Strike completely 4.5. Second that. Discussion? All right. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? No. Well, yes. Brian, no. Um, yes, it is Abbott. Okay, 4.6. First, we'll suggest you know body broken trap shall be set on land unless it's under 25 inches or between 25 and 60 inches, square inches, and it's five feet above. Okay. Yeah, my question is let's see that change to include. I'm not sure of the square inch size, but some people have said 40 square inches. Yeah. But I believe the contract number is 160, which is. Yeah. I, I, I believe that we should include that fact. So. Okay. 
I guess 40 inches is the number we need. That's what I was recommending. So I'm not sure if the 40 inches will be as good as And that's, that's the biggest one that it will include? Yes, it will be bigger. Okay. Yes, it would not include any super 220. Yeah, that's I'm sorry. Can I just make one comment? Please. If you're going to include the one that was deceased, my understanding is no will be. Something like that. What we're doing is. You're we're allowing the blind set. So. We're allowing the blind set to be utilized with a blind set. So that it's already allowed in the. Restricted enclosure is the set. Um, but then we'll so that's what we're doing is you're changing the 25 square inch to 40, 40, 40, 40 square inch. In all instances. In all instances. Okay. This section. Let me read this. And in here it says nothing about being a baited set or blind set. Typically because another 25 is always set blind. Um, not necessarily. So do we have to put it? I mean, it's not included in there now. They, do we have to put it because we're asking it to 40 inches? I think I mean, if your intention is to make it a blind set, you have to include it. So you need language something like it's under 40 square inches and in a blind set without the aid of date. Something like that. If that's your intention. Okay. You have a better way to put it. Uh, yeah. If you're making this change to specifically address the use of a 160 in a line set, then address that issue. Should it be? But, uh, let's, if I make a motion, should I make it as a number uh, 160 or 40 square inch? No, you want to stick with the square inch of language. Shift it over to. Um, so point me to the section that talks about the size of the track when you bait. Well, yeah. There is a well, it's, there. It's, it's crossed out under, under 4748. So if we're not being specific about a 25 square inch track not being baited or baited, why do we have to be specific about the 40 inch? Yeah, I agree with that because when you state to be clear, you all can do whatever you want. At this point, I'm just saying the argument was made that you don't want to do this because you're eliminating blind sets for raccoons going into a cornfield. So if that is the part that you are worried about, address that part. And I see. Oh, but change the 25 square inches supporting will address that because it will allow up to 40 square inches to be <laughs> without needing an acre. Yes, and it'll be able to be baited and lured and everything else. Okay. So you just all need to know that's what you're doing. And you're increasing the risk of unlawful yes. modern death. Yes. So doing that, I should definitely specify a blind set. But I thought the instance of non target species being trapped in any sense was less than 1%. Single digits per year, is that correct? It's it's based on some very unscientific surveys, of veterinary surveys, and what comes into the CAD system. It's an average, and this includes foothold trap catches as well as body gripping trap catches. Probably more foothold than body gripping, significantly more foothold. It's an average of six a year. And here we are just talking about body gripping traps, correct. not foothold. So it is correct. less than. It, it would it would be a fraction of that six a year something and, and I use six very loosely it's an average of six. Commissioner, I have a question. Yeah. Is the reason the department is warning us from making a change of or reminding us to be very specific about this change? Is it because of the potential for failure at the next step by increasing the size of Body gripping traps on the ground. Yeah, um, yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> okay. I don't know. We're getting a lot of caution uh, signs from the department because 
uh, work in this area. I deeply respect. So I'm, I'm now questioning our, our changes. Well, I, 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 yeah. it is much easier to become less restrictive than to become more restrictive. So, did I get that back? <laughs> you got that back. <laughs> I got that back. It's, it's, it's but we know what you meant. It's best to get back to that box. So I, I think if we if we put the language in 40 inches that's on page, whatever can make that work. It can be easier if after a period of time, or if the legislature doesn't like this or whatever, we could come back and, and tune it back to 25 square inches. I think if we pass this 25 square inches, we're locked into that. You're never going to get that beyond 25 square inches. And, and that's just my personal. I hate the tune of tie this down so much that we're really great at um, taking away the ability for traffic to, to target raccoons and switch. You know, I've got one hidden in my garbage the last couple of weeks and uh, they love somebody's come traffic. So um, hey, do you have a motion? Um, like to well, we've got a motion on the floor. I don't know if it was second. There is motion. I, I would make a motion to increase it to 40 square inches using a line set only. Then before if that if that makes sense for that fashion for this matter. I know there was a list of uh, rules that apply to it uh Houston Stratford, but <clears throat> it's just one of them. Yes, it is. So even at ABC traffic, they're not just one six the other with a blank set. If they were taking compensation. Oh, okay. So that's another reason I think to be 40 inches. That's com very common for uh, ABC traffic to use blind sets. And again, the 110 is going to catch poor old weasel. Maybe that's it. That sounds like a second to me. Frank, you restate your motion. And there's more discussion. I need, we need the motion. I made a motion to increase the size of the bottom of the curving track to 40 square, less than 40 square inches using a blind step. Not less than, but not over. I'm, I'm not. I'm, I'm sorry, say it again, please. Well, I need a little clarification. Did I get not to exceed or I'm less than 40 inches? Not quite seeing. Right now, the language under said under, under 40 square inches. Um, Which would include a 160. Is the easiest way to say to place 25 square inches with 40 square inches? Well, I want to get to the Yes, I think it's yeah, I think the by the 40 is still home for steps. Yes, and that and kind of right. language without the use of bait rollers. That's or, right. The back door approach to saying that is having a restricted, a restricted entry of soldiers. <clears throat> All right, so we did, just so whoever's writing down this motion, you can do it, Brian, just say your motion one more time and we'll see if it is the same. Motion to increase the number 25 square inches to 40. Use the main line set. Without having to add without the aid of the bait, without the aid of meat based bait, attractants. Lowers of any kind. I believe that bait is defined very broadly as any animal, vegetable, fruit, mineral matter, or any other substance capable of growing or back on specific types of cattle. Or any of the wildlife. Oh, or any of the wildlife. Okay. 
I would eliminate the blind set. I think the verbiage is already here. Just got to change one by four square inches. Correct. Um, Thank you. I, I think section A needs to read now. It, it, under 40 square inches without the use of A or and then you just replace 40, 25 with 40 in the next one. All right, we're good. Yeah. Yeah, we haven't had a second yet. So you have the option to withdraw your motion to get clarification from council having cleared the motion. You're okay with that. Or someone would like second the motion that's on the table. Can I ask council to read the motion back to me? Yes, I I might get out of the cup of that too. Do we have a, a motion that we can read back? I think your motion said it is under 40 square inches in a blind set that we use in big. That's what your motion That is what it's said. I don't know that it's necessary to have a blind set in there. That's what he said. So A should read it is under 40 square inches without the use of bay, or and then it goes on to B, and then B replace 25 with 40, C replace 25 with 40. Yeah. That's what I said. That's what I second that. <laughs> All right. A second. Uh, Jay second. This next question. I have a question. So a blind set that we're talking about a blind set. Mm -hmm. Not include that point. Blind set just means without the any phase or risk of traffic, right? Any any of the time. No, it's just there. Yeah. You said it then it's yeah, it's for a non fail or whatever you're looking for. Yeah, for that set, catch a cool Awesome, boy. Uh, I We're talking 160s. No, that would be difficult. We'll decide to size it up. That trap. Uh, I catch it since it's an old set. Catch a new one. Uh, Mr. Chairman, if I might. Um, I, I um, am extremely hesitant to change the, the numbers upward in any way. I believe that this is at best uh, a minimally acceptable proposal in terms of the other parties who, although not sitting at the table right now, have an extreme interest in what this says. And I will also go back to what uh, 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 brought on my other no vote, and that is the department has worked hard, diligently to bring forward a proposal. And I, I uh, am very uncomfortable uh, dissembling it uh, in this setting. Not that I might not ask the board to dissemble something else in the future, but <laughs> for this one, um, I would really urge that we hold with the department. As I stated earlier, this is a solution that in search of something that's not a problem. It'd be like reducing the speed limit in the zone where there's never been an accident. It's so it's so minimal. It just makes more sense to me to make more sense. 
from the what was originally proposed. Which was 25, and just making sure I understand. Yeah. Yeah. I, after hearing, after this discussion, which was very helpful, I'm coming back to that um, point of view as well. I just want to add, let me clarify my answer. These are blind sets for hunting dogs. The big cotton one is, it would be, like, it, there's no reason for it. They're not set where dogs are normally going to go just because there's no bait or lure. There's nothing to attract to that set. So it's a minimal change. Is it zero? No, nothing is zero. Here. It, like I say, blind sets are among the most highly selected draft you can even set the set you put out there. Marty, do you have a comment or question? No. Oh, sorry. I was just saying. I would just point out one other thing that when I read all the comments, which, which I spent hours doing, one person said that I think that so many non target animals. That are, that are taken, trapping should be banned, period. And that statement simply isn't true. There are people that advocate that, and it's, it's just bogus. Yes, it's on page seven and six. Can I call the question? Yes. Oh, oh okay. You may want to do this one by one. <laughs> All right, we'll do this vote by roll call. I need to ask a question, a uh, procedural question. Is that stating an option? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It's a vote by question. Um, no, I mean, it says that Jeff has a double it up. Yeah. All right, all those in favor signify by saying aye. Now, in favor means you want to increase six to four squares. You're in favor of the motion that is proposed by exactly. Mike Bancroft, yes. Brian Bailey, yes. Nick Burnham, yes. David Dean, no. Jamie Dragon, yes. Brad Furman, yes. Uh, Allison Trader, abstain. Neil Hogan, no. Mike Colson. Brian McCarthy. Yes. Paul Noel. Yes. Bob Patterson. No. Jason Weenie. Yes. Marty Van Buren. Yes. Yes, it's habit. Nine. Okay. Question be easy. That was only four points. <laughs> All right, so we still have to vote on striking the previous 4 4.6, 4.7, 4.8. All right, do we have a motion? I'd like to make a motion to break um, 4.7 and 4.8. Second. I'll second. Gary, want to outline your motion? Yep. Discussion? Second. All right, go to a vote. Uh, if you're in favor of the motion, signify by saying aye. All those in favor? Aye. 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 What's that? I can't say the same as the other. Okay. Oppose? And the ayes have it.
The explosives would be a technical. So you need to go back over five. So I'm making motion that uh, four point five A read as uh, presented. The addition. I'll second. Thank you. Discussion. And folks online, we're going back to four point five A. That's the motion. I'm just going to let Randy know that we're not taking public comment right now. I tried to email him, but he keeps raising his hand. Yeah. Okay. So if you don't mind, I'm just going to put it in the chat. Oh, okay. All right. All those in favor, uh, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? You guys have it? Okay. What's the next section? Yeah, <laughs> 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 Okay. I'm confused which one you're going on. 4.1 and 3. No, 4.1. It's just going to be explosive. It's just going to be explosive. Okay. All right. All those in favor, so you can vote saying aye. 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 Opposed? Let's have it. 14.4. Do we have a motion? 14.4. 14.4. 4.14. We have a motion. I don't know. You don't need to do this. That 4.14 be uh, that the revisions as written on page five be accepted. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? The yeah, ayes have it. 4.15. I make it the motion that we adopt the 4.15 with the amendments as presented in page four. I second. Second. Discussion? Second. Dean. Paul beat you to the second, David. Oh, second. dear. Yeah, you get the next one. Well, <laughs> don't rush it. <laughs> I personally would like to choose one for that. I don't think I'm going to get anything. That would be my preference. What else? Yes, then, hearing none. All right, all those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? No. No. So the ayes have it, 11, yes, two, no. Uh, Four point sixteen in the tech. Don't wait to go on. Is that well, I think it's all the same. 
Okay. okay. There's some question about uh, whether or not we should restrict the dispatch to just gun across Pogo and your own muscle. We should allow other methods of dispatch. Things we're getting restricted from trappers in residential areas that may not be able to use a firearm. That would need to get that. I don't know what other means there are, but. No, in fact, that's one of the reasons that this is a placeholder. They, in fact, don't have uh, BMP and it is in development. Um, if uh, the Fish and Wildlife staff is there, they could go further and continue that discussion. I think there's some confusion on what Ryan was asked. He wasn't referring to the argument that you were talking about the American that American Veterinarian Association. And I can't say right. that. I, I just I can't see passing a law using just those means of dispatch. Yes, none of those are legal to use in the city of where there's a lot of use of traffic going on. Uh, I know probably one of the most controversial things to use is a club, but in a lot of cases, uh, small staff might have had a lot of animals dispatches and put to their home. I just I, I don't think we should restrict it just to that. I, I'm not sure what the right answer is, but why pass something that can't be used everywhere? Especially when there is obviously a problem with the nuisance and I agree. I agree. I'm not sure that's the right way to word it, but I don't Robert think it's has some assistance with it. Yes, the American Veterinary and Medical Association 2020 edition in the list of I don't have the whole thing, there's over 100 pages, but I brought the, I brought the pages of it and went with there, and it just would make sense to me that uh, they also uh, talk about gun, but they talk about other methods, inhalation, um, non uh, inhalated agents. So there are, it makes, it makes sense to me that we would, as a national, Sanctioned organization that would make sense to me that they're not that they're, they're looking at ethical um, euthanizing of animals, whether domestic or wild. Um, in fact, this section here, uh, S7.6 is free ranging wildlife. So it discusses. Uh, um, can the yeah, commissioner, can the department answer? Uh, <laughs> Again, as to why there's some corrections to this 4.16. Well, and let me you can speak to the. Well, let, me, let me just remind you how we got here. Yep. This was a motion made by a board member. Right. This yeah. wasn't a proposal from the department. Right. But the last that required. Yeah. Change. And so that one is just, I, I would ask for a cap on the top for that. I also ask for clarification. Um, previous, what is do we define dispatch as, as a dispatch term? The traffic. Yes. We do not. Okay, that's for no definition. Do we need it? Yes. Yeah, that, that's really a terrible thing to do this. To attach this line now because you don't want to be trying to find dash and uh, control people. And I think there's intrinsically misuse of drug and talent. But no matter what I think, it does say in here that uh, the original proposal that the provision may be amended on receipt of the Association of Fish and Wildlife Agency recommendations. Have we received those? No, they're not done yet. Right? Can we? No, they're not. They're working on it. There's a work group that I believe. How about do we know how trapped animals are dispatched 
for example, in Burlington currently? Yeah. Yeah. I, I, they're, they're not, the games of firearms is probably a blow. That is, yeah. that is a very main uh, media dispatch. I don't think anyone's going to use them. I don't think no one's going to use a muzzleloader crossbow or a bow and arrow, not as a trapper. Not the stone. As I understand it, this language uh, mirrors language elsewhere in the Fish and Wildlife laws in terms of the definition of taking. And the only taking that did not have a clear definition was, in fact, trapping. And when we discussed and voted on this at the last meeting that this came up, um, it was taken wholesale out of other definitions of taking. And it was understood that it was a space holder, which ensured uh, humane dispatch while we awaited for recommendations from the national effort which is why it is worded the way that it is. So I, my call is to go with it. We're not through this process. Maybe they come up with some, uh, if you will, magic bullet um, that we can insert in here um, or we ride forward with this until um, we have a clear BMP. And again, I want to say that people not sitting at this table who have an extremely deep interest in this issue, this is a critical concern. Humane dispatch. It's not be an issue. We need to take care of it now. I'm going to make a motion. 4.16, dispatch of tra trapped animals. Upon discovery, the trapper shall immediately dispatch a live trapped fur bearer in a safe and humane manner. This subsection shall not be interpreted to prevent a trapper from releasing an unharmed captured animal or a domestic pet. This provision may be amended upon receipt of the Association of Fish and Wildlife Agencies Recommendations regarding the main I second state this to be amended. Does that sound, Catherine, like that will pass this perfect test? Uh, the motion is motion, right? Um, the Dispatch of animals is one of the provisions of the statute. Um, it says when and how the state can expedite it, says like how it be. Doesn't know what that means. Um, can you define for me what the main means? Since we're going to have to enforce it. I don't think you should use the word humane. I, um, we'll talk to a vote on this, I assume, but I, mm -hmm. if, if we. I might suggest that we revise the wording to remove the word humane. Um, the definition of that word involves compassion and could be misleading. misinterpreted. Um, so I revise that to read safe and expedient manner. Brian, are you okay with that amendment? Did you second? I, I second that. I thought you said safe and expedient. I said safe and humane, but it's expedient now. Yeah, I I think it's interesting because we have to look at the safety of the rapper too. Bob, you're not supposed to We're working past the safety of the test on on this definition exactly. Uh, well, I, if we have no, should we add the word uh, legend? Is that if if we're also concerned about making sure we don't exclude that? One word. Kind of what this document says, but it doesn't use that word. Well, it says in some cases, discharge of firearm is illegal. It is considered a serious threat to human safety or maybe inappropriate for other reasons 
Consequently, free ranging animals may need to be killed quickly and efficiently in ways that may not fulfill the criteria for utilization established by the EOB. So, if we add the word bludgeon, does that help? Can I add something? Yes, okay. I so in that um, the ABMA guidelines for euthanasia on page 42, um, it says manually applied blunt force trauma to the head can be a, a humane method of euthanasia uh, for neonatal animals um, with thin craniums if a single sharp blow delivered to the central skull bones, a sufficient force can be produced immediate can produce immediate uh, depression, the CNS, and destruction of the brain tissue. So small animals. I'd like to hear the comments. I would just like to point out that some of this discussion started because people were concerned about municipalities that have restrictions. Those same restrictions apply to everything else. So they're going to also apply to deer hunting. They're also going to apply to turkey hunting. They're also going to apply to bear hunting. Those are already there as an effect. And this section does not apply to animal damage control, trappers, trapping, or compensation. Does not apply to any question? They are around to fight out and mess around the correct and pleasure to everyone to get a death. Those points that I mean, they want. Yeah. Ready for a vote? And that original motion that we made back, I don't know when it was, two meetings ago, didn't we leave our, leave it open for clarification on other methods? Well, for this, this, this does. As this reads, that was our original. Are we, can we ask the opinion, the opinion of the department? I would just want to ask that question. Whether we should uh, you know, adopt 4.6 or not. We didn't modify it when we presented it back to you. We didn't modify it. That's there. Okay. You don't, you don't see a problem with that? Ever? There's no perfect solution, but I think it's important to understand that if I look at the statute, it says criteria for when and how and why captive animals should be released or dispatched. We have to define. We could add manually applied ground force, yep. and that would still meet the requirements of the statute. And that this does address areas for firearms restrictions. Would you like we not vote to modify that? I will I will draw the motion. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'll make a motion um, to yes. adopt four point uh, to amend four point one six. Uh, Hang on. Dispatch of trap animals. Upon discovery, a trapper shall immediately dispatch a live trap per bearer with a muzzle loader, gun, crossbow, bow and arrow, or manually applied grunt force. Period. This provision may be amended upon receipt. Or should we keep that plan or not? Yes. Uh, this provision may be amended upon the Association of Fish and Wildlife Agencies recommendation regarding the main dispatch. The subse subsection shall not be interpreted to prevent a trapper from leasing an unarmed captured animal or a domestic pet. Here. Second, we have a second. Brian. I'll say. It. No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Everyone online, you hear the uh, motion? Yes. Uh, no, I did not hear it in its entirety. Please. 
The motion is uh, to revise the wording of 4.16, basically keeping it as written up until the word crossbow on the second line after the word. Uh, I'm sorry, keep the wording up until the word arrow at the end of toward the end of the second line after the word arrow add a comma and add the words manually or manually apply front force. The rest of the 4.16 would read as on page five currently. So the amendment that I'm proposing is to add manually applied front force, and that is to address municipalities that cannot use uh, firearms. Uh, I have a quick question or feedback. Why don't we instead um, just add or in um, in accordance with the association that we've been that uh, Bob has been quoting from reading from the veterinary medical association or in accordance with their guidelines. Because how many travelers are going to read that to know what they are You're supposed to be. Yeah, no offense. <laughs> well, I think just from a presentation perspective, I think it's um, it's a little bit more palatable. But Brad, I think the um, the concern is that again, part of our job is to make regulations easy to understand for all, and that not every member of the public tra trappers are going to go read these regulations. Bob, do you do you have an opinion? I think I have an issue in terms of legislation. Yeah. yeah. It's supposed to be specific. To the commissioner's point, it's going to we're never going to please everyone here, but we are um, called upon by the statute to define this. I think we need more, we need more time to research. <laughs> I, this is this is a lot, this whole thing seems rushed to me. I, I mean, I never got this information until I don't know, twenty. Can't hear you. I, I'm just saying I, I haven't had enough time to study this information or talk to enough people to get their different opinions, and, and it seems like we're trying to rush this through here to get it done tonight. Yeah, we're, I, I would expect, we're not rushing anything. This has been going on for nearly a year, and that was passed months ago. That's the section we're talking about right now. So, true, but I mean, with all due respect, so. I asked I mean, no, I just think that I just, I, it was kind of brought to my attention that this rule, if that rule was in place, no traffic would take place in Rome. That's not accurate. I think Sean's already I don't know why that's not well, accurate. okay. Okay, I think that but it would be only nuisance traffic where they don't have to buy the new rules. That's a pretty good rule. You think about the clause back right there, do we think this or this with, with further recommendations? Yep. The information that we get. I do like the addition of blood force being appropriate. So, yeah, and if if I could, Mr. Chairman, I um, brought this language uh, with the, the actually the help of legal counsel who pointed me in a, the direction I needed to go with this, so that in fact the definition was in line with taking in other sports in order to address one of how would you say a central concern of uh people who are putting a lot of energy into this that are not sitting at this table and um in terms of decisions we've made tonight and i i you know don't go uh, making any bets on on my prognostication, but I'm telling you that you have set yourself up for a difficult time in the legislature. Uh, David, I just have a question. Um, is your statement in regards to the addition of manually applied one force? Yes, okay. absolutely. So you believe absolutely. the addition of that phrase? Um, will be 
not regarded well by the legislature. Well, part of, uh, you know, I'm I'm in a um, a very strange position with all of my background in the legislature and whatever. And part of what I try and do uh, in my engagement here at the board is to advise in order to be able to address what I know will be uh, issues that rise before the legislature and that are um, flag waivers, you know, and you get followers behind it and you can march off into the the sunset and feel good. Um, um, and so I tried to make um, some of my uh, stuff is advice to the board. And unfortunately, I think a lot of work may have gone down the drain tonight, but that's my take. Okay. <clears throat> Any further discussion? Well, I'll just go back to earlier. I think these objections would be more acceptable for the linear legislative audits. At least it's something that they can use that's not going to work in the areas. And it's not that it's in use today. I'm fine. I'm fine. It is in use today. Yeah. I think we draw my motion. We can advise tonight. Well, well, one of the comments here, and, and uh, they talk about human use in Asia. And one of the things they talked about is a dispatch tool, which I believe is what you're talking about, the injection and or camera blades, which I believe is the what the meter iron exhaust or something. So. Use methods. Car exhaust would be a little difficult to pull off. Two wife's car on the stones. Maybe in addition to adding the addition of controller, there can also be these lists of dispatch. So, so I, I think the, the dispatch pool and chemical used in Asia. Same experience. First, acetone. The best way the best way to word this motion is however what we're concerned with is that the type of human nature. I mean, I wasn't aware of this. we approved this at the last meeting. I mean, think about it. Well, I, I I am because I made the motion. No, I, I'm saying that since that other other means of bringing up my attention, lethal injection, a swift, you know, a sound cruel, but a club that uh, had most vehicle, most animals is a very humane means of dispatch. Quite often, of course, than than shooting them. Uh, that's not included in there. Lethal injection is not included in there. I don't know of any other means that are I, I say, as humane, but I say we proceed with the vote uh, for the motion on the floor because we are addressing the statute and um, the legislature. We we cannot anticipate every um, motion of the legislature. We are responding to the statute and what's asked by us, and we are trying our best to include a clause that we feel does have some um, backup to its effectiveness. Would you possibly consider amending the motion to include the agenda? Chemical agent. Ah, sure. Uh, I don't think Lance's objection is a very wise idea. Too easy to make from the case of the trash, and if you inject them with a lethal injection, you need to know the longer it's good. It is you, it is. There are factors that, that they use that. Yeah. I, I personally have not, but. Uh, it is. It, it works. I've, I've read enough uh, graphic articles that describe it, and um, it, the chemicals are legal that they do. Uh, so I think in addition, but I also in the list of things would cover a lot of. If you just add the wording for or chemical agent. I like chemical inject. I'm serious. I think one of the worst words. 
because USDA thinks it works just fine and there's millions of people that eat cattle every day. They've got a, it's just a handful based, you know, yeah. opposed. I thought if it's, people can't accept the fact that things die when you kill them, how are we possibly going to take care of that? Actually, I just don't understand why we're tiptoeing around this. They say, when and how? Expedient and safe, both to the trap or into to the surrounding people. But the statute really asks us to define it for the and expedient and safe. I agree. And I think, well, you have to be I mean, how uh, expedient and not slowly. You like to put your existing motion to a vote of only adding uh by one force. I wish I had a feel for the majority here in the state against my everybody's bill. You guys want to add people to injection or not? Majority to add people injection. Okay. I'd like to withdraw my motion and I'd like to present a new motion. All right, what's that? Is everyone ready? Yeah. <laughs> I'd like to make a motion that 4.16 be revised as follows. I'm not going to read the whole thing. Please keep the language as written on page five up until the word arrow. After the word arrow, a comma, insert the words or manually apply run force or lethal injection, period. The rest of 4.16 would read as defined on page five. Until the end of the word yes. Do we have a second? I'll second. The last one. All right. Jamie, second. Yeah. 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 You're done. Discussion, please. Discussion is not a one of us because it's going to get either voted in or out. There's nobody satisfied. Let's try to make this right. And if we have to for here longer, we're here longer. There's absolutely no way I can vote for the basic objection. Personally, it's fine for boys of the age by having a horse used to the house and letting them eat. You've got to be really careful about this legal injection stuff. It's, you just don't say casually, oh, that's okay to do. Most people are not going to be able to do this in a legal and qualified way. If that were the case, any people walking up behind you in the airport going to eat it, I think the injection is not smart. Okay, it makes it sound good for the money numbers. But it's not smart. I don't, I don't think that's something we should be part of the state statute. Can, can we ask Catherine, legal counsel, uh, her opinion on the addition of the words legal objection? Well, she read it the way it is. That's my opinion. The original way, 4.16. Thank you. I'm just making a that they're already used. They're already used legal objection. Correct? Yeah. I'm just trying to make it okay for them to continue to do that. If we read it like this, then they can't do that. And I call the question. Legal counsel is advising me against. I can't. No, you can't hold me against anything. So, you know, dice on the table or something that they can do. Don't hold All I'm trying to do is find a way forward. All I'm trying to do is understand. I can give the rest of it. I personally have a second. We do have a second. Jamie second. Do a motion. I personally would your add one fourth round, but one fourth. Or leave as it is here. Not I don't think lethal injection. I don't think the A uh, is going to fly. Uh, that's my opinion. So either as is or as is. Well, well, I think they're, I think there's a the stick they use, the procedure they use, and for those that use it, they probably fall on it. It works well. Then let's just vote the current motion down and I want to draw it again and read it out. 
Okay. Can I just add something? I mean, part of the issue here is that um, the standards around dispatch, like humane euthanasia of animals, is very species specific. Right? And if you look at the, I mean, I'm no expert on the, you know, veterinary. Yeah, standards, but they're really, they're long. They're like 122 pages. And if you're just saying budget or, you know, lethal injection, that's not necessarily going to fly under these standards. And that's what people are going to be looking for is something that is really humane. But if it's species specific, how can we have the same dispatch? Trapped animals as we do for large, large game. Because here we're talking about you're talking about carbon, you're, you're talking about lethal injection, you're talking about clutching. Gunshot is applicable to almost every species. It's quick. But I think the only reason why we were on this topic was because there are certain municipalities where you can't use gunshot. Correct. Correct. So what are the options for those people in those municipalities where you can't use that shot plus? Those people trapping into tents of property are exempt from this. That's why they're saying do that as this and don't have stuff. So yeah. um, I mean, we don't make this kind of exception for you know deer hunting or anything else. So not inconsistent. I don't like the accuse of um, uh, manipulating the board with taking which is more strong. No, I think this is just a great thing. Yeah, it's a broad topic, and we're just trying to find the best means to. Okay, well, I, I, I'm going to say from my perspective, the fact that this is going to go very late shows that you're taking this very seriously. That's not like it has to be. Oh, I have to go. Nobody succeeded. We never. I mean, this is it, once we make a decision, then it will be the last decision we make. So we have to be smart about making the just decision. So I okay, think this conversation needs to be had. Fair enough. So shall I draw the motion? Uh, I don't know. Right. Right. So I feel like we have to eat a majority think, direction here. We're kind of hung up on the municipality piece. Yeah. I, I know in my municipality, you're not on the track. Within the city limits. Yeah, and I think that's the way it is in most of the towns in Vermont. So I think we're kind of around the thing. But you think that that's um, not true for nuisance tracking? So, yeah. Right, these don't apply to nuisance tracking. So, so there we go. So, exactly. So, shall we return to the. In Okay, it's actually worded here. So, in the way it is, because it says dispatch them with the muzzle loader or gun. Let's say by shooting them. <laughs> 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 yeah, you live in my town. You have to offer a ride to go to me. Yeah, I am with you. <laughs> you know what I mean? All right. What motion is on the board? Thank you, whoever said that. <laughs> I'd like to say by shooting. The motion on the floor does include one force and the Yes, that's why I could withdraw my current motion, or we could vote this motion down or let it run. Personally, I feel I should, based on commentary we've heard in the past 15 minutes, uh, I'd like to withdraw my motion. Okay. And I'm not making the next one. Do it. Somebody would have to withdraw it. I'll make the motion. Oh, we're done. I'll make a motion to accept the 4.16 as written. With this change. And making sure we do the striking of that requires. That's change. really what the motion is about, is those three words. Because they've already accepted them. So. And it's modifying it by the That is the players. That's the motion. And I'll, I'll second that motion. Want to underline the word with before a muzzle? 
said earlier, I think adding other provisions beyond this, like blunt force injection, is creating a solution to a problem that isn't exactly a big problem. I don't think there's too many people trapping Park and Burlington having to not be able to use an end of There is lethal injection. <laughs> Okay. Are we ready? Ready. Uh, all those in favor of uh, removing the three words at the end of four point one six signified by saying aye. 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 Opposed. Nay. No. Three no and yes. Yes, Shall we move on? Okay. 4.18. We leave removing 4.18A regarding the Wildcat artificial taste. So moved. Second. Second. Excuse me. Okay. Where you go? So isn't there something in the middle of 4.5? 4.6, yes. Correct. Under 4.6, we now have a now allowing 40 for interest, right? Yeah. I think to make a motion. Yeah. 
Let's see. We, 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 we have to launch in a second. Oh, you do? Yes. Oh, to remove 4.18 action. But never in discussion. But there might be some discussion that it could be used. Uh, Mr. Chairman, is there something else we need to do besides remove that now? Because if there is, I'll withdraw my motion. Uh, okay. Well, is it, is it the agency's recommendation then that with the change to 40 inches that 4.18A that was stricken be reinstated? Oh, we can handle these. Only this. Still on the agenda. Yeah. 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 Okay, I'm done. 4.19. Is that a housekeeping? So we'll vote. All those at one time. Uh, page 7, section 4.20.3B. I would consider that housekeeping. Yeah, I would say the same thing. Yes. Uh, four point twenty point five A. Now the four point two two links B one. Put in the total traps. Sorry, covered by stricter rules. Alright, so do we have a motion? I move to delete section 4.2 B1. Second. Discussion? Not completely. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. 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 i am sorry i a motion to use the delete what is highlighted. All right, so what's stricken? What was the stricken? Okay, discussion. Any more discussions? Yep. Hearing none. All those in favor? Say aye. 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 Opposed? Guys, have it. Uh, so we would like to go back to. Dollars in tax number five, page eight. Right. Oh, that's not fine. No, eight five. It's not highlighted. It has no, it's not highlighted, but we talked about this before. It's just for the belt. Oh, there are investments. Oh, out of state training. Oh, Okay, I got this. I like to put the motion that is acceptable for. Town residents to uh, train their dog near the lawn along with everybody else. What are we waiting to do? That's what I just said. Well, we wait till we open the bear and we'll appear to test that. Yeah, that, that was my major complaint. Yeah. Right, but that would need to be open on both of us. Okay, we got breakfast now and then handle the bear and it's no left. What's your concern with the way this is written? I just totally unfair to me that a non resident can't train their dogs. With we can issue them a permit, but they can't train their dogs. We want their dogs to train. So, Bob, you're proposing this two guys? 
Okay. No, because the way it's written, I guess I can't train here unless I have state not been training in such a state. Right. That is specifically in the statute. Oh, I yeah, read my know. notes. I could have said that. <laughs> Just bring it next to my time. Okay. So, yeah. you can petition the yeah. your legislature. Yeah. Okay. Okay, on page 10, 4.22, B3, B3, uh, I hope saying that this will have been stricken in yellow. I'd like to make a motion that 4.22, Number three means the proper. We have a second. Oh, wait. Wait. I don't think we should do that. Sorry. I don't think we should do that. But you've got a stricken. We did that. Was when it was up to only 25 square inches. Uh, yeah, you could have moved it up to 40 square inches. So there are parts of this that you should probably leave in there. Thank you. Yes, for checking balance. Yeah, don't I don't know what I'm doing. I'm done with the dimensions. <laughs> <laughs> the 160 is the 48 square inch. Correct. Mm We have a recommendation on this. So, would the recommendation be to reinstate that section? Separately. Separately. Under overhanging, underhanging, overhanging screen banks, or in the blind set, or in the blind set. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. The way that it's written, what the word struck out the end. On the fourth Saturday, blah, 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 this is a body that contracts no larger than a typical 160. Just a 40 square inches ground. They also be set up ground in place. So, I, I mean, the way I would understand it, we can strike that because mm -hmm. the way that one that we passed earlier was, I believe, under 40 square inches. That would not be included in this, the way this would be. This would say they're not over, yeah. no larger than 160. It is explicitly said in one section of the Right. Yeah. Well, we changed it to the under is it is under 40 square inches. Yeah. Okay. So it's they wouldn't change anything in this section. Under that, that would all be allowed. We should strike it. Strike it? Yes. Yeah. Strike it. Do we have a motion? No, yeah, you're done withdrawing. I thought I'm done for it now. You know, you can just I will make a motion to strike out um, 422 three. Second, I wouldn't do that. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> We're moving. Discussion. 
Hearing none. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Close. Nice habit. So this would be, and you could also strike diagram three on page 13. I am. I will second it. All right, discussion. Hearing none. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Has have it. It's not. I think you can hold on a little. Do you think you're going to hold the phone still? It is. It is. Okay. I think it's not easy for you. I have a question. I have a question on six. It's been bugging me for a long time. Last statement. A bird was asking for people out for the purpose of moving the animal to a more appropriate place for dispatch. Why do we have to dispatch the animal? Why can't we release it? You're allowed to release it in that previous um, the one we just spent an hour on. It said you can release an unharmed wild or domestic animal. So if I have a hard squirrel that's getting in my garden. I can take it across the river and let it go. It's in New Hampshire? No. The language to release means FS. So if you want to release a non target animal, does not mean we do not want people trafficking and transporting animals, spreading rage in the mountains, right. in areas of the state. Many people do it already. People do do it, doesn't make it perfect. Yeah. Yeah. So, just appear to can. Even with the changes that we've made compared to what the department had recommended, are any of these suggested housekeeping changes in 6.1, will those be affected in any way? Six point one. Six point one. Um, it's still so like in six point one. Under four point five, we don't need eight. Okay. We just need four point five. Can you hear me? No. Okay. Okay. Six point one. Under six point one, we don't need under. 6.1, the reference to 4.5, you don't need A through F. You just cross that out because the entire section is equivalent. And then under 4.5, Thirteen. That also has a poison section in it, so probably we want to say if yeah. Right, but don't want to use explosives. Yeah. So, if the animal has already been trapped, they use the poison. No, they didn't pass that. Okay. They didn't. Okay. All right. So we're crossing that one off. Cross the what? 
Okay, for, for time, what we'll do is we'll look for a motion to approve all housekeeping suggestions except 6.1 while the department works on destination for a few minutes. Just going to make that motion. I will make that motion. Discussion. Hearing none. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed. Guys have it. So now we're back to six point one. We have the recommendation. Need to be clear on the same. I think it's there. Can we say it was 6.1? No, we don't have all right five minute break Okay. 